Hi guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Prison Architect. And this is the beginning of Season 2. So you might be wondering why we're looking at our old Season 1 prison. Well, I've decided that, you know, despite the riots and everything that happened in the last uh, Season 1 finale episode, uh, we're going to go ahead and sell the prison. And uh, we're going to use the profits from this prison to go ahead and finance the next prison. Uh, that way we can build a bigger prison and hopefully, you know, get a little bit more adventure. Uh, things didn't really start getting interesting in this one until we got uh, a little over 200 prisoners. Then we started getting, you know, the random escape and uh, some random riots, even though everyone seemed content. So I think that's what we're, we're going to do. So uh, it's been a little over 24 hours since that riot happened. I've you know, fixed everyone up, no one's hurt anymore. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to actually go to reports here. Uh, if we go down to validation, you can see we're worth about $860,000, uh, give or take. It was hovering around eight seventy. dollars um, It seems to have dropped a tiny bit, but I'm okay with that. So supposedly the way this works is we should be able to hit sell here and then we'll be able to continue running this prison if we wanted to but then we can create a new prison and get the money so we should start off with roughly eight hundred ninety thousand dollars which will be enough to build quite a big prison right off the bat so I've never actually done this so let's see if it works so we'll go sell oh well that's pretty interesting it just immediately takes you to this um, okay, so we're going to go with medium, and then if we want to expand later on, we definitely can, but for now, we'll go with medium. Uh, we'll leave Fog of War on. Uh, we're going to take continuous intake off because we want to be able to go ahead and shut that off. Um, generate forest. You know what? I think we'll leave that on for this one. Generate lakes. No, we don't, we don't want that. Generate buildings. We don't want failure conditions um uh, yeah we'll turn that off as well so we didn't have forest on the last one and it, it didn't really matter but I think we'll have forest on this one just see how it goes um alright let's just click play and see what happens okay so we did start off with eight hundred ninety thousand dollars I obviously have it paused now because uh, yeah, new map. We're going to need to do some new things. Okay, so uh, obviously we have absolutely nothing at this point. Um, just in case you guys were wondering, let me bring this up here. We are playing version Alpha 24C, which is available on Steam. Um, and basically the new thing with the Alpha 24 release, well there's a couple major things, uh, one of which is the ability of your prisoners to become snitches. Basically they will um, report on what other prisoners are doing. You can hire them as a snitch in a security room and they'll give you all the information on who's digging tunnels, who has contraband, all that type of stuff. But you know, obviously, whoop, you know, paused. Um, but obviously if you do that, then they can, uh, other prisoners can find out and then hunt that person down and do bad things to them. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of play around with that a little bit, I think. Another major change is that prisoners can no longer get spoons and forks from the canteen because uh, apparently they were getting way too many, which I definitely agree with that. Um, they were getting way too many before. Uh, in the old 23 release so they've kind of taken that out and we're gonna just move garbage down by one for now um, yeah they've taken that out and uh, I'm not sure really where they get spoons and forks from now or if they just don't get them at all but uh, we'll see alright so a couple things I think we're definitely gonna want a forestry in this prison um, it seemed to work out pretty well in the old one. It gave our gardeners something to do. The only problem with that being, uh, you can't hire gardeners right off the bat. So we're going to need to do a little bit of planning. And this episode might be a lot of planning, to be honest. Uh, only because 
you know, new prison, we're going to have to kind of figure out what we want to do with things. Um, let's just plan on a pathway being here. I think the general layout of the other prison was pretty good um, as far as the main buildings go. I think the uh, dormitory choice that we used for the old prison uh, maybe had some issues, so we probably won't be doing that exact thing. Uh, let's see. We've got plenty of starting funds, so I'm going to kind of be a little bit generous here. Uh, that'll be for deliveries. This will be for our exports. I wish I would have looked at the sizes before I just started randomly clicking. 10 by 8. And uh, it should also be 10 by 8. Let me double check though. I don't know what it's doing right now. There we go. 10 by 8. Good. Okay, so those are the same size. Um, I don't think we're going to do the power generators out on the side here like we did in the last one because they're kind of grossly inefficient if you do it that way. Um, so yeah, we won't be doing that this time. Uh, we will do storage, uh, and I'm going to build a slightly bigger storage than last time. So that'll be our storage. Um, We'll have offices along the outside that worked out really well last time. So let's do the same thing. We want to have uh, six by six offices. So we'll have one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, and actually, thinking about this a little bit, let's let's do this. Only because we don't need the offices to really be that close. So if we do one, two, three, four, five, whoops, then we can wipe those out. Uh, and this could be something else. This could be maybe visitation or something along those lines. Um, let's see, how do we want to do this? I think we want to have, if this is storage, I want to do the same basic uh, layout where we'll have the kitchen directly above this. Uh, and that actually might be a decent place to put the power. So let's see, if we do five by five, we can fit one, two generators in there. Um, that's definitely not ideal. So that's five by five right there. And then we would want to go drop that down by two. So that would be five by five. Okay, so then we can do this wall right about here instead. And that throws everything off by one, but that's okay. We can fix that relatively quickly. Or we could just give someone a bigger office. We might, you know what, let's just give the warden a bigger office. So that'll be the warden's office. Um, okay, I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, we can just put a wall right there. So that's enough for two power generators. And we can have the water generator on the outside because it only takes up a 3x3 three three space. So let's toss that in right now like that and then that's still plenty of room to have a perimeter wall around this um, let's see so that'll be a door going into our power room let's see I want deliveries to have a door that goes into storage and I want it to have a door here and here then we'll have gates right there and right there I think that'll work out pretty well. Like I said, this is similar to the design that we used last time. Uh, it's not going to be exactly the same, but I think th some of the key features, like the kitchen and that, will be pretty uh, similar because they definitely worked last time, so why mess with success? Okay, so that's enough for one, two, 
Whoop, three, four, five. And another row of those. And let's see, how many rows can we get in of these? We could probably put a sink right there. And another sink right there. We could actually put three sinks. Because I believe the sinks are three, so that's fine. And then we could have another row of stoves. Another row of stoves. That works out really well. Um, and we could actually put a couple more up here if we needed to, but for now, I think that works. And we'll just have doors there, maybe right there, and that'll be a wall. Yeah, I like that. So that'll be our kitchen. Um, as far as a canteen, we want to make the canteen pretty big because we don't want to have to come back and, you know, extend it later. So let's do something like that for the canteen. I think that's plenty big. Um, we'll need a workshop or two. Uh, let's see. So let's let's plan out the workshop as well. Um, now the workshop's going to need to be able to get into the storage room. So that's why we typically do this over here. Uh, and I think we need another door on storage to be honest. So let's do that. Uh, and that'll be a staff only door. Hmm, how do we want to do this workshop? If we leave a gap, so say, say we put a table here. Tables are four long. So we'll put a table there. We put another table there. Just trying to get the spacing down. That doesn't work. Two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four. So we could have all tables like that and then have a gap. That, that would probably work. Um, or we could do two tables there and then go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then take out that one. Yeah, I like that a little bit more. And then, so we'll put saw. Well, these will be presses, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. Saws or presses. We need to have ten on each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There's an auto save. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's pretty much perfect. Uh, and then we'll have a gap down the center. Wow, I think the spacing on this room is is working out extremely well. Come on, just want to get all these in so we know what we're dealing with. There we go. And, hmm, that's kind of a problem because we don't have room for our hallway then. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I want the hallway to be similar to what we had last time so something like something like this so that they can go in to the canteen right about there and that they would more more precisely right there uh, and that there would be wow I'm just randomly clicking all over the place but anyways and then there would be like metal detectors here so we're gonna need to cut down on this workshop a little bit so if I go like this say and put a wall here which is okay um, then we could have a table like that then two tables there um, and if we come across like that that's one two three four five six seven eight nine um, I guess what we could do is just stretch this out a little bit and do three more here, three more there, and then we could put tables here. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, hmm. Is there some place else that we want to rip some saws out? 
Probably not. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see about that. But for now, we'll go like this. And that'll be one workshop. Uh, it would be really nice to put some more saws right here. But I think the max that you can have is 10 of each. But I guess we'll see. There might be some waste in this workshop. Uh, I want to leave some space just in case we decide to make another workshop here. So let's see what the size of this is. It is 21 by 15. So let's do another one that's 21 by 15. There we go. Okay, so that, that's enough to have two workshops. Um, and then down here, we'll do, I think we'll have this be exports, like I said, and then we'll have maybe a separate space for garbage here. That'll work. And then we can do visitation down in this general area. Maybe, I'm trying to think what we'll want to put out here, because I don't want to I don't want to do like last time and have visitation be a big L. I think that was a, a pretty terrible design, to be honest. So maybe we'll go like that for visitation. We want these to be pretty big because I don't want to have to come back and, you know, redo this prison and have like a whole bunch of separate workshops and a whole bunch of separate visitations or anything like that. We've got enough money to make this pretty gigantic at the start so uh, that'll be a metal detector uh, we'll also have a metal detector here the entrance to the workshop should be probably right about there I'm guessing so then really the metal detector should be about there and then that way it catches them coming out of the kitchen or canteen rather and also the workshop I don't think there's much they can steal from the canteen anymore but I guess we'll see um, so if that's gonna be visitation then we're gonna need a classroom so let's plan out our classroom so whoops, we need 20 desks in a classroom so that's one two three four five Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. This is probably not the best layout. Let's see. If we go with six, then we can get 24 desks in there, but that's a little much. Maybe we do what that's 16 so we just wouldn't need those desks but then there's not really a point unless we push everything up a little bit let's let's do that if we cut that a little bit shorter then we still have 20 desks in here and the teacher's desk can be like right there ish okay that'll work I think so we'll put up that wall and that one and that'll be our classroom let's see then hmm maybe we'll just make visitation slightly smaller so that stays about the same size um what else do we need we need a common room and we're going to need a yard, probably. Hmm. Questions. Hmm. I want to have a pretty big yard as well. But let, let's start planning the common room. We'll have the common room will be like that. And then we can do... We're going to need a laundry, a staff room, tons of, tons and tons of rooms here. Uh, let's go to the room list. Not, 
not execution. Um, let's see, we've planned the canteen, we've planned the kitchen. Uh, we don't have a shower, we don't have a yard yet. Uh, we do have storage, sort of. We have offices. Uh, what else? Common room, visitation, we need a staff room. Okay, and we need a cleaning cupboard. Let's see, let's focus on the staff room. Um, not materials, planning. We want planning. Okay, we can do a staff room over here and then have like a staff only area down here. I think that's a good idea. So if we do a pathway that comes along this way, that's like staff only, then we can have a nice little staff room right about there. Uh, and then we can have a security room or a, you know, central TV monitor hub right here. So I think that'll work out well. That'll be our common room. Then we're going to need, what, infirmaries and tons of other stuff. Hmm. This is getting complicated. Let's do this. Let's lay out this path. No, we're going to want a path going down this way. We're probably going to want a path. Yeah, we definitely want a path going up this way. Like, whoop, not like that. Eh, whatever. We'll erase it in a second. Okay. That's a pretty decent layout, I think. And we know we want a door here. And probably one that connects these two. Uh, workshops. We'll see about that, though. Um, probably going to want another set of metal detectors. Say, if this is a workshop entrance right there, we'll want the metal detectors to be there. Uh, that way they'll catch everything rather than just some things. So, let's go ahead and throw up some more walls here. We know we're going to want an infirmary. Uh, and the infirmary doesn't have to be too big, so we'll go like that. And what can we make this? If this is the common room. Hmm. Huh, maybe we should separate. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Maybe we can separate this. We could have like a cleaning cupboard. Be like right right there. That could be the infirmary. And what could this be? Let's take a look. Hmm. We don't need a staff room. We already have one down here. We could do two cleaning cupboards, I guess. I don't know how necessary that is, really. We'll see. Maybe we'll just have a, a spare room there, just in case. Uh, what else do we need? We need a, a place for the yard, and I want to put the yard in the middle, and I want to make it pretty big. So, let's go like this. Let's assume a big, big yard. Right in here. And then we will actually zone this as yard. right like that. Oop, I missed a space. There we go. Um, and we'll put probably like a fence around the yard maybe. I think that's a pretty decent idea. So let's go back to planning. We'll go with walls. Right like that. Put a gap right there. Put a larger gap right here and a gap directly across from that and directly across from that yeah that should work um, I guess I should have checked and seen how long this was that's 15 that also happens to be 15 so perfect okay so we'll have that be the yard 
Um, and then we'll build our cell blocks off of that. Hmm. So if we said that one's... We want this to be staff only, so we're going to need a door there. Ah, uh, that's not a good idea. Because if we make this a double door, like a jail door, then the staff is going to need to... And uh, no, I guess we could have uh, remote access. That, that's fine. So, let's go like that, and go like that. That should be just fine. Um, we said this is going to be visitation, so we'll have just a regular door right there. And if this is going to be garbage, that can just have a door right like that. Those will be both staff doors. Um, yeah, I think that's that's looking pretty good to start this. Um, we're definitely going to put a wall all the way around this. So maybe that's what we'll start doing now. Uh, is there an easy way to dismantle these trees around the edge? Demolish walls, objects, demolish objects. Yeah, just for now, get rid of these trees that are going to be in the way. Uh, let's check and see what else. That one will be in the way. That one also will be in the way. And... that one over here will be in the way. So we'll have them demolish those trees and we'll let them we'll let them get started on that. And go workers, go. Uh, and we'll, we'll start zoning some of these rooms. So garbage is going to be down here. This is no longer going to be garbage. This will be exports might be a little bit big for exports to be honest but that's okay uh, deliveries instead of being there will be one in maybe there we go perfect okay good they're starting to cut that down I'm gonna speed it up a little bit uh, we should probably read the CEO letter uh, go ahead and delete it because it's just a normal thing uh, and we're going to turn off prison intake for now okay that should be just fine and we're going to want to start building this pretty soon but I think for now we'll be content for, to let them do that and we're going to start building our perimeter wall uh, the only problem with that that I can see is going to be the road gates. We're not going to have any guards to work them right off the bat. So maybe we should start working on our offices. Uh, foundation, we'll go with brick again. Uh, and I'm just going to have them do this uh, whole area right like that. Because we've got the money, why not? Uh, put in some doors. Oops. One large jail door. Perfect. And then we're going to want staff doors on all of these. One here. There, there, and there. Perfect. So we'll let them start building that. We should be, we should, might actually make some money off of these uh, exports here. Are these logs that they're all cutting down? So, all right, come on, guys, start building. Yeah, I want to get the offices done so that we can get the uh, bureaucracy started, and then uh, we'll go from there. I think, I think those trees are still set to be dismantled. I just don't think we have enough workers to do all that right now. Mm. 
that's what we can make that other room. We can make that some sort of interrogation room for our uh, prisoners. There we go, perfect. Okay, so they're going to start putting up lights. Uh, we actually need to build this section as well. I don't know why I didn't uh, do that yet. Might as well just... Yeah, might as well have them build that whole thing. And staff door it. Oop, objects, staff doors. And definitely a staff door going into the power place. Please don't rip down that wall, guys. They're probably going to rip down that wall. If I had to guess, that wall's coming down. We'll see you in a second. Hey, they didn't do it. Good. Okay, so let's pause it for a second. Actually, there's plenty for them to do, so I won't pause it just yet. We'll separate this out like that. And at the same time, we're going to separate these offices out. There we go. And we'll get our power in. And that might have to be it, because this episode is going to start running pretty long if we don't uh, cut it here. So yeah, we'll get the power grid up and running. Uh, just the one for now. And I'll pause it. Oh, we get a free power station. Nice. Okay. So we'll put one in here. Like that. And I'm going to put just five capacitors right off the bat. One of them was free. The other four we had to pay for. Um, but yeah, we're going to need those definitely. So... Very good. Um, we're going to need water pretty soon, but not yet. So rather than do that, I'm going to have them run the utilities, the electrical cable, um, just straight up like that. That should power all of the offices. And then we'll also be powering the kitchen off of this grid. So we'll just do that. That should work out well. Um, and then how do we want to do this? To run the bare minimum cable, we can probably just go like this. Yeah, like that. That should feed all of that uh, with relative ease. So I'll let them go ahead and place those power cables. We'll want to start fencing off these areas, but I think that'll have to wait till next episode, guys. That's going to be it for uh, the first episode of this season. So we did get a lot accomplished, and we did, uh, you know, we actually managed to purchase the the prison. So that that's the most important part. But yeah, guys, that'll wrap it up for this episode. I'll catch you next time, and we'll be working on building out the rest of this and. I don't think we'll be taking in prisoners for a couple episodes just because I want to get a lot of the building done right up front. So, uh, But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you then.